<laughs> Speaking of um, uh, why does the internet exist? I noticed you got a little bit uh, a little bit annoyed with the the D Lang community not that long ago. Ah, uh, yeah, I've dealt with a lot of shit from that. It's a uh, so like there's great people in the D Lang community, but mm. um, uh, and they want it to be better. But uh, Mike, Walter, mm -hmm. Mike and Walter, like uh, the two people doing well. My, my uh, Walter is like the, Walter Bright is the guy who makes D, so he's kind of the BDFL at least of the DMT compiler. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mike is just like someone moderating the forums or will admi administrating them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the forums are technically just a mailing list with a front end in front of it. But uh, we'll ignore that part. <laughs> uh, so. The D Lang community has a toxicity problem, mm -hmm. a very bad one. Uh, and it's mostly, well, the fault of uh, Mike and Walter, because mm -hmm. they are like, they have a, this like no, poli uh, no politics stance, which on the surface makes sense, but then uh, I'm like a trans woman and I'm implicitly, because the stupid world we live in, I'm implicitly political just by existing for some reason. Mm hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I've experienced some uh, pretty nasty things in the D community, like people sending me uh, not great pictures of their their things. Uh, you you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, I've also experienced harassment and stuff. Uh, and like in the past, when I've tried to call it out, it's just basically nothing. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of gave up at one point. I, I get the the no politics thing. Like, like I can understand that being the stance, but that doesn't have to then mean that you just ignore harassment. Like that's not how that has to go. Yeah. Well, the thing is, with no politics, it mostly just means I, I we want politics, but only the status quo. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, most people, especially people I've shown D Lang, bounce off it because of the toxicity of the community. Right. So. I, I I like D-Lang, it's a great language. I made a note to do it in it and I'm like I make my living writing it now. Yeah. But it's it's gonna be hard finding contributors for Nochi 2D in the future if everyone just gets turned away by mm -hmm. by the toxic community that are in parts of it. Like and like yeah, there there is great uh, people in the community, but um they don't have the power to actually change this. Yeah. So why it's was kind of like Oh, uh, sorry, go on. Uh, it's, it's just kind of a terrible situation, in my, in my opinion. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to ask, why was D-Lang what you ended up going with in the first place? Um, oh, uh, I just started using it in 2016 and really liked it. I was like, well, this is my project. I choose what I write in. I write in D. <laughs> sure, okay. I mean, I, I'm the most productive in the language, so if I'd written it in some, something else, it would have taken way longer to get to this point. Right, so. right. I feel that's the thing the Excel set is like productivity because it, for the most part, just gets out of your way. Right. So, you know, that's that's a, as good a reason to pick a language as any. I know it. It's good. It's fine. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of people get a little bit too hung up on. I've definitely noticed, this, especially in my comment section, a lot of people get very hung up on very specific languages. They're like, oh. This is written in Python. This is written in, especially Rust. Oh my god. But I get some fun <laughs> comments anytime I talk about anything in Rust. Uh... I mean, Rust is fine. I just wouldn't make game dev tech in it. I, I, I've i written plugins for text editors or whatever in Rust, and it's fine mm -hmm. for that, but I just don't think think it's a good fit for like game dev and game dev tooling. Mm -hmm. Most because like uh, the borrow checker and the syntax makes it hard to make good game engine, game dev code, in my opinion. Yeah. But that's just my personal opinion. Rust developers disagree with me and makes games in it anyway, so... <laughs> well, I'm I sure mean, if you had the experience you, that like, you have in D and Rust, you would have a very different opinion. I mean, I tried to make do game dev stuff in Rust for a year, and I was like, yeah, this is not really a good fit for what I want to do. Fair enough. So. It's working for some people, though, but I, the, the point I was getting at there was the language you pick isn't like, it's not as important as some people make it out to be. Like, there's this idea that I, I very I hear very often from people who... It's usually people who are either not programmers altogether or very early programmers that yeah. think the language is 
somehow going to stop you, like, either going to stop you or make you write good code. Like, you can write yeah. bad Rust code that's going to be horribly slow and very, very, very bad at handling memory. You can do the exact same thing with C. Or if you're someone who's you know, understands the language, understands the tooling you're working with, knows how to actually use it, you can write something good in you know, pretty much anything. Now, there are obviously going to be disadvantages using some things, like you know, you're writing yeah. a game in JavaScript, and that's going to go pretty poorly for you. Um, no, not always. It depends on the game you're making. Fair, but... You know, it, there's only a... When you're using a language like JavaScript, there is going to be the inherent limitations Overhead. of the language. Like, yeah. there are some things you can't overcome. 